Going into the real set here. Straight to Battlefield. I would say a very good choice here. That's sure you can able to land safely on the top platform. And we can get some good ledge uh, some good ledge trapping here from Melly against a Rob. But Rob obviously strives very well on the stage. You know, with those safe up airs to just shark the platforms as well as places to put that gyro. We'll see how Melee can contend with the Dill here in Loser Semis. We got the Hype Moonsiders. Everybody excited for Tekken 8? I know I am. But before then, we got plenty of Smash to play before January 24th. And as you see, the platform is coming in very well here as we got some good ledge trapping situations. Unfortunately, if you are nervous, the Holy Water will catch on the platform there at the ledge, so you have to be very careful here as a Richter player. Uh oh. Done a really good job just empty hopping to safety. Forcing Dill to choose an option, choosing high. And that was wrong. So wrong. Alright. Now, folks, if you're noticing the parries here on the neutral air, that is exactly what you need to do against Rob. And a great conversion from Holy Water into Up Smash. Melee up at a confident, confident one stock lead. Be gone, robots! You don't belong in this world! Alright. There we go. And a good sure you can landing safely on the top. Another one! A good out of shield option, especially against a big body like Rob. And a neutral air just following to the end. Ah, the dill. Unfortunately, the mash out will kill! Yep. And that is another reason why sometimes you just don't want to take Rob to Battlefield. That can and will happen. I have a melee not losing hope, but Dill is readjusting here. Oh, and a nice dive kick. Not many characters here in the game do have dive kicks, but uh, you know what? This is a staple of fighting games, and this is a fighting game. Yes, no matter what your mom tells you, this is a fighting game. You're doing well. You are valid. Honestly, these lasers and cross... Trades are valid as well. And a good tipper there for the Vampire Killer. Showing exactly what Belmonts are made of here at, at mid-range. Oh, and the Axe taking Dill out. Didn't know that was sharp enough to go through metal, but it is right here at Xeno Wheelies. All right, Melly trying to just walk up and grab the gyro, not working out. So tricky there if you're just doing it from neutral, eh? Oh, boy. No! Just a little too long there. I mean, the higher percentage you are, the, the shorter your invincibility at ledge is. But Melee just fighting back, trying to throw the axe, and it hits twice! But still barely able to make it back, sharking the platforms with the up air. No! And a good cross up there with the dash attack. And another good shore you can. If Dill is forced to strike stages, this is going to be the first one. All right. Rob is scary, but Belmonts are scarier in the right hands. Oh, and a great little sliding forward tilt. Oh my god. The reflector actually reflecting the axe back possible to have killed Melee there. Oh my gosh. All right. And just a good dash back into the back air. What are we going to see here? Oh, the laser coming out. The gyro saving as well. Okay. The shield looking very small, but still with absolutely no fear. All right. Knowing exactly that they want that back air so bad. And that's a death. No, not death yet. Oh, a terrible situation. This is where Belmont's don't want to be. The sure you can have an invincibility! And the up air taking it by the tip of the Vampire Killer. Very good bands there from Melee. FD and Kalos, get them out of here. Some of Rob's best stages here. You don't want flat stages, folks. That gyro can just absolutely dominate neutral. What a pop-off! Let's go! Hey, if I took a game off of a deal, I'd, I'd tweet it out to Oblivion. Probably what Melee's gonna do, but you know what? They're gonna wait until they take this entire bracket as they're moving on to losers, losers' finals. Perhaps, perhaps.
or Dill, collab him back to get that New York special, the New York usual with John numbers in the Losers Finals. And we are going back to Battlefield. And sticking with the music, Moonsiders. Both players confident in their choice here. All right, Dill being a lot more aggressive here with the gyro. A lot more dodges as Richter's frame data isn't great to catch those. Anyway, Melee doing a really good job of just whittling down that shield. A miss input there for the Holy Water. Belmont can outrange Rob, which can be very frustrating. The Gyro just not good enough to control stage like they can, especially with this housing. Alright, trying to catch that roll. Still being very patient. Melee being very even more patient. Oh no. Alright. Offstage situation. Good neutral air. That is death. Dill having to spin the win here two more times to constantly take that fucking what? The tipper? Must have been a little bit of bad DI there, but also just very strong there at the ledge. Nothing really you can do there, but uh, move on and uh, wear that second stock with pride. Ooh! Oh no. Alright, a good catch there from the gyro, trying to catch that tech chase with it. But now I'm forcing the shield on the top platform. And a good instant grab. But you know what? This is exactly what Dill's gonna have to do over and over again. Get Melee into the air and just kill with that spinning top. That's it. That's all you need to do. Get Belmont off stage and they're dead. Dead, dead, dead. And Melee knows this. Just trying to keep stage control as much as possible here. Giving it up, unfortunately. Oh. Trying to get that bounce off shield to make something happen. And Dill just with the terrifying parries. Sometimes you just gotta walk in and grab it. That down tilt? Stopping the slide? Belmont will never be a bad character. Not with that slide. But Dill proving that they have the tools to combat it. Alright, no re-grab there. But on a platform, dangerous situation. And a sure you can. Dill knows exactly that it's just safe for them. All right, forcing them to roll back on. Can't catch up with a forward smash just yet. And the tip of the Vampire Killer. Melee is just one stock away from taking this, but off stage. All right, forced to recover on high. Living, oh my gosh. But just still, bursting on through. A neutral air catching the aerial. What do we see here? Oh my gosh, the forward air, just so much range. And another neutral air. This is it. It's over. Yes, just a little too far for them to recover. Dill takes us a game three. All right, PS2 and Hollow Bastion are banned. We'll see if we want to go back to Battlefield or if Melee's going to be like, I choose a better stage. Town and city. An excellent stage for Richter. Plenty of space to control with those. What are we seeing here? Ah, it was a... Sh oh, they rolled back! Oh, how unfortunate. Ah, but we got the cabin cruising song. It's something a little high beat, high intensity. Bit of a hi-fi rush here for the final game of Loser Semis. Who's going to go on to Loser's Finals and fight John? We'll find out after this game right here at Xeno Weekly 306. All right, oh my gosh. A really strong start there for Melee. Edgar, they are just dancing around the gyro. They have plenty of space to work around. No reason to overextend, but they do anyway. Showing that they fear no robots. Using these platforms to extend combos that wouldn't work on any other stage. Town and City proven to be the best counter pick for them. So close to taking that stock, and they do with that conversion from the cross to the axe. Still being like, I'm not going to let that happen again. Not as long as I can spin to win. Unfortunately, a misjudgment there on the Holy Water. All right. Trying to call the DI in, but still just DIing out. 
saving them another 50% damage. Melee doing so well to just avoid the spinning top that cost them two whole stocks last game. All right, strap in, folks. This is going to be a long one. All right, Melee throwing out everything. Just keeping them in the bubble zone. All right, when they get in, just uh, stuffing the approach. The neutral air, a good combo. And just a nice sliding forward tilt. If you've ever played against the Wi-Fi Balmons and be like, why do they use the special so much? It's because they work Dill on their final possible stock of this tournament. All right, Dill has to deal over committing to these spinning attacks here. The spin top obviously so good, being able to reflect so much. But melee is like, well, you can reflect my items, but you can't reflect the vampire killer. But you can definitely reflect the whole last body off stage as they take that first stock off melee. Now it's not out yet. Deal with the comeback potential here with Rob. The zero to deaths are extremely possible with this character and encouraged. And if you're like, that's cheap, just get good. Don't get zero to death. Don't get crab forehead. Or just uh, sure you can your way back on stage. And a good sure you can get them out. Dill trying to anticipate that once more, but mainly being like, I'm not dumb enough to do that again. All right, getting caught by the laser. A good tech there. But it's going to happen, King. All right. Then no jump. All right, we got the axe. Axe trying to come in clutch, but getting stuffed by the laser. No way, no way, no way. It was, a, it was either a shield poke or a broken shield. And Dill opts to get off stage and reset the situation. And they are dead. Melee going on to fight John Numbers in Losers Finals. What a fight to the end there. Melee, don't go anywhere. Stay there. Take a moment to breathe for your victory against Dill. All right. Melee has secured themselves third place here at Xeno Weekly 306.